I have a shady business with me sitting right here. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Shady business. It's just shady business. That's shady just what it is. His name yeah. is, your name is Shedrack, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you decided to tell us exactly. I want to know and tell everybody as well. How'd you come up with your name, Shady Business? I mean, my name, my name is Shedrack. I mean, and then I'm a producer. I love to do my, my stuff differently. Uh -huh. So then at that point, it becomes my business, huh? Right. So when you take that and then put this, it's a shady <laughs> business. Creative. Fantastic. Super creative. Super creative. Super. Okay, so tell, tell, tell us about what it is that you do, basically. Yeah, um, I'm a producer. Um, I produce Hits. music. Uh -huh. Yeah. Different genres from hip-hop to R&B okay. to house. Okay. And then a couple of fusions here and there. Oh, really? Yeah, so... Okay, so for example, let's say, let's take a hypothetical situation. Okay. I want to sing, yeah? Mm -hmm. And um, I believe I have a good voice. You believe? I believe. Okay. That's the key word, though. Okay. Yes. That's the key word. I believe that I have a good voice. And I come up to you and I'm like, you know what, Shady? Uh, I need you to produce me, basically. I want to release a single. And then I tell you my vibe that I'm going for. I want a very sort of soulful, sultry sort of vibe. But mm. something that will be very catchy. Something yeah. that I wanted to go viral. I want everybody to get onto it. Because then afterwards, I want to do a video that's going to maybe have some dance moves. And, you know, have that sort of synchronized vibe going on. So, just in that already, mm -hmm. I'm asking for a lot. Yeah. And I'm a little bit scattered and yeah. all over the place. Yeah. What do you do with that? I mean, it's not far off from what we listen to today. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a fusion of R&B and mm -hmm. hip-hop. Mm -hmm. And then the hip-hop I'm talking about is new trap music. Yeah. So, I mean, there you Gee, go. What is with the trap music everybody's talking about? It's the new pop. About. I just think it's the new pop. The, yeah. new, the snares, the drums are all different. So okay. so they're all becoming trap from different genres, yeah. from dubstep. Everybody's having that fusion coming on. So, trap, explain to me what trap is. I trap heard music. I heard trap about trap two weeks ago when I had prize on, okay, and everything. And she was like, "Yeah, this is her new thing that she's gonna yeah. do now, and it's gonna be trap." And she did like a couple of bars, and I heard it. I was like, "Oh, now I'm getting you." But I want to hear what's your definition of trap music? Trap music, trap music, trap music is the new school music. It's the new school hip hop. Yeah, yeah, is is it's, it's simple. Yeah, big drums, uh -huh. heavy hi hats. And snares, yes. Sorry, it's nerdy. <laughs> then the vocals, and then any other thing, just vibing on that. Uh -huh. The vocals now don't necessarily need to say a lot, yeah, because uh, because of the attention span mm -hmm. of the listener nowadays. So what is the attention span of the listener it's, nowadays? It's, it's, it's forty-five seconds. Max. Stop it! Yeah. I'm serious. Seriously. I'm sorry. So you need to catch them. That's in that how first fast. That's seconds. how fast you need to do it. And if you don't do it, you're done. They're done. DJ spin tracks for I mean one minute six seconds max okay that's when they a get yeah so though. i mean no, it's pop music right. but that's why it's pop it's just popular music that there. uh -huh. there's a trash can or this <laughs> <laughs> there's a bag or a storeroom of, uh -huh. of music yes. and they have to spin and all from the same genre yeah. so i mean it's you just need to yeah, keep it going it be basically chop chop wow yeah. that's pretty impressive yeah. okay so i mean you, you can just basically do what it is that you know i hypothetically have asked for to say this is what yeah. i wanted exactly yeah. That I want to do this, so you need to make me this, and you need to make it a hit, yeah. and this is what you would do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, just on that basis, now tell me who the people are that you have worked with, that you can say, These, this is on my CV, this is what I do, you know? Okay, um, I mean, I worked with Jesse Jags, mm -hmm. I've worked with Yemi Alade, mm -hmm. I've worked with Jamar, mm -hmm. I've worked with MI, yeah. I've worked with Sasha, I've worked with a couple wow. whole of artists, okay. yeah. Okay. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Okay, so what is, what is, do you have a signature sound? Yeah. Like what is it? I mean, for me, basically my major sound comes from hip hop. Mm -hmm. So I fuse it with other, other genres, mm -hmm. but that's where it comes from. The mm -hmm. roots is hip hop. I have R&B coming in once in a while, dubstep mm -hmm. once in a while, Afro, mm -hmm. most times Afro. But what's significant in it is I always sample a lot, and then that's where the hip hop background comes from. Uh -huh. Yeah, samples from from different genres, as the case may be. But it's just the fusion. Yeah, that gives it the blend, and then and then you're good I'm mindful of the lyrics too. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of genre? What do you love the most? What kind of is it hip hop you love the most, or is it R and B you love the most, or is it even house, or is it pop? Which one? I mean, as a producer, you get to work yeah. with everything. But what's your one thing? I mean, I grew up listening. To hip hop, I'm a just boy, yeah. so I mean that's that's a, that's a major for me. Yeah. But I mean, as times are changing, I'm growing. 
I'm falling in love with other genres, house, mm -hmm. um, zook bass, yeah. mumbaton, is a couple of stuff, yeah. My goodness, because it just sounds honestly the way you're very, <laughs> sort of very nerdy, expressive. But I mean, no, yeah. it's not nerdy, it's almost artistic the way you're like, I do this, and this <laughs> comes and it comes this, and you know, yeah. it's like you're very passionate about what it is that you do. And you're the sort of person where I can be like, you know, the beat is coming and it's like, no, 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 it's coming. I don't need any disturbance right now. I need to focus and I need to hone in on my skill, basically. Certainly. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so who? Yes. Let's let's talk about artists now. Yeah. Which artists in Nigeria have you that you haven't worked with? Give me three artists that you would love to work with. Right now. That you'd love to get your hands on them and you like, if I get my hands on you, the kind of music will create. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Three. I have, I have Pato Rankin. Mm. That's one. Okay. I love his style. And then I've been listening to what he's been doing lately. He has this new Lovers Rock coming in. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I vibe with that. I vibe with that okay. a lot. Okay. Yeah. And then also, Burner Boy. Because mm. I think he's, a, he's an excellent performer. Okay. He has a lot of energy. And then he's not... He's not... He's vast. I think he's, he's put out more... He's touched more sides of music lately mm -hmm. than a lot of artists. Okay. He's done, he's okay. done this, this is, it's quite experimental okay. too. So I like, and then, she, she. Uh -huh. um, yeah, because, because I think she's, she's also vicious too. She has this. She is. So yeah, she so doesn't really face. keep it's herself in this Yeah, so yeah she it. really just wants to like, mm -hmm. let me just lash out. Let me just go yeah. wild and just mm -hmm. see what's out there. Certainly. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Let's go international now. Three yeah. artists that you would love to produce. <sighs> Definitely Kendrick Lamar. Okay. One hip hop and why? Then I just love his vibe. I uh, think he's different. He's very experimental mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows how to deliver it mm -hmm. to a certain level where everybody could listen. So that ca that catches me. Um, K Michelle. Oh really? Yeah. With all her drama. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. I, I certainly <laughs> want to because I think it brings out where the story is uh -huh. for for me. So I think. An artist like that, I'd really love to work with her. So you'd want to, would you want to work with her in the same genre she's in right now, or would you want to push her? No, I push her a bit back to, I think back to where she started, or what? Not where she really started. I mean, with the flavor I have, uh -huh. the I have an Afro flavor too. So uh -huh. I mean, back towards that, she's black, and I think there's something she could work with. Like, oh really? Yeah. Okay, and they will. <laughs> I mean, definitely no, um, I can't hear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, K K K. I mean it's Kendrick Lamar, it's K Michelle and it's Kanye. You I like don't the Kardashians? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah, nah. Alright, uh, so you wanna work with Kanye. Now Kanye uh -huh. seems these days he's experimenting a lot. He's definitely gone a long way away mm -hmm. from his first album, Call It Dropout. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. now, if you compare that album to this. Kanye now, is they, they're like um, they are two Different totally worlds. opposite polar people, right? So where would you take Kanye? Um, that's the reason why I like Kanye. He's uh -huh. very experimental. Uh -huh. He's he's not afraid of of doing uh, uh -huh. doing a lot. You know what I mean, Kanye, I I give Kanye the I give him kudos mm -hmm. to the present sound. I think I hear Drake do Big Sean. I think Kanye owns that, mm. but because of that, and that's different from what College Dropout was. Oh, too, yeah, so I mean, yeah. he's he's just he's an artist. He, he lives he lives his music. Mm -hmm. That's which is important. Yeah, to be able to create that yeah. music. How do you take an artist who, let's say, someone like Janelle Monae, mm -hmm. yeah, who's very sort of like this is what I do. Mm -hmm. How do you take that artist and say I'm going to put you over here? First of all, we have to meet in the middle. Yeah. We have to understand that there's there's a need for us to, to go there. Mm -hmm. And then if 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 that need arises, that's where the question comes in. Yeah. And then I'll yeah. say, you know what? This is the fusion. This is where I see it. This is what the listeners have been. This is the sample of what listeners have been listening to. This is what what's resonating from the streets. Yeah. And then I mean, that's a go. Okay. Keep experimenting. So basically, you 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 do you would take the time out to sit with the artist to say, you know what? Yeah. This is what I want to try with yeah. you. This is the reason why I want to try this. Yeah. And this is, let's, why don't you try this? And if they're mm -hmm. very resistant, then. Because, of course, you will meet artists that are resistant and they're like, no, yeah, this is what's been working lot. with, for me, this is what I want to stick to. I mean, she knows why she came to meet me yeah. or, or I know why I'm with her. Yeah. So um, at that point, then I'll make what she wants. Mm -hmm. But then definitely, it's, we don't, 
I don't work that way. I work with a whole lot of music, so we we'll try different ideas regardless. So. I like that. Yeah. It's like when you meet that, look, I don't work that way. <laughs> the way I work, you either work with me or there's the door. I mean, she will try it. We'll do, we'll do what she wants, yeah. but I mean, at that point, we'll do more. Okay. Yeah, just so we can, we can actually show her the point, my, our point, uh -huh, our point of view uh -huh. as well, too. So. Okay, so a lot of producers these days are, okay, or sh shall I say, let me rephrase that, a lot of DJs now, mm -hmm. yes, are evolving into okay. producers basically they're from djs they're evolving into producers they're releasing albums albums whereby they produce the music they get an artist to come and sing mm -hmm. on that track that sort of thing what do you feel about, about that? that are you thinking stay in your lane or welcome you know i mean um uh what was disc jockeying First of all, I just think it's spinning tracks in a creative manner, uh -huh. in the sequence, in a okay. good sequence, okay. and then thereafter. I mean, that's it. that's that's about it. Mm -hmm. If a DJ should make an album, I think for first instance they should make an album spinning different songs. Mm -hmm. But that's one. Mm -hmm. But these days they're making albums, getting producers into the studio, recording, and all that. I think it's for this one reason, not. They, they, they influence sound mm -hmm. generally. They mm -hmm. influence the trend mm -hmm. as much as they play. They don't want to spin the track, sorry. Mm -hmm. they, they own the airplay mm -hmm. more like. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they know what to do. They know what is going to make money. So, I think I see it as a business. As much as they want to be artists too, yeah. it's, I see business a lot in it. And I mean, it's good. It's, mm -hmm. it's today is what's happening today. It's the world today. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, basically, you're like, okay, everybody, let's go for mm -hmm. it. Basically, there's mm -hmm. enough room for everybody, right? Yeah. Okay, so would you ever think about going into the world of being an artist, you know? Produce artists, yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you tried it before? Soon. Soon? Yeah. What kind of vibe? First, I'm starting with hip-hop, definitely. Uh -huh. Definitely starting so with hip-hop. So when you say hip-hop, it's going to be sort of like that whole trap thing? Yes. Where it's the singing, rapping type thing. It's the melodic, rapping yeah. type vibe, right? Yeah. Okay, do you, do you, do you, do you want to, you know, show <laughs> us a little something? right now uh, <laughs> <laughs> i mean i have this new new song coming out soon uh -huh. just be vibing in the studio uh -huh. i jumar and then hench just people i work with mm -hmm. at home and mm -hmm. then try something like strap music and then fusing reggae into it and uh -huh. all that so yeah. i mean you'd hear it let's keep that in pandora's okay. box okay 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 yeah. okay no problem no problem <laughs> no problem so what 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 are we expecting from for me shady yeah yeah, I mean, this year, um, okay, boom, let me let this one out. Premier Music, yeah. Nigeria's first record label. Okay. Mm, so, I'm working on, we're producing a whole lot of the artists. From back in the day? From back in the day. Wow. I mean, remember the Two-Face Victor Rifle? Yeah. So, that's our project. I okay. mean, so it's different. Now, we now have different artists, mm -hmm. Chris Agilo, mm -hmm. um, Bright Chimese, a whole lot of them. Osadebe. Mm -hmm. Um, Rex Lawson, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be produced yeah. as an album. Yes, yeah, no, as singles. We're starting as with singles, singles but okay. it's definitely a compilation. And then it'll be okay, yeah. compiled into yeah. an album. Yeah, wow. so that's one. Uh -huh. And I have Jesse Jags' album. Mm -hmm. I work, started work already. Okay. Two weeks ago. So yeah. you're producing his album. Yeah. Then. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. And um, Jumar's project coming out soon. Yeah. Me. Okay. Yeah, and then. I mean, hold on, Ruby's project too. We started. Oh, yeah. Are you are you producing Ruby Gang? Ruby, as well? yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so. Okay, <laughs> right. So you just been sort of hiding <laughs> in the background. We're like, okay, now you've come yeah, out. Really. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. That's yeah, pretty you. pretty impressive. So when you when you decide, is it after you finish producing these albums that you're now going to do your own project, or mm. in it could be in between? It's in between. I'm already recording. Okay. I, have, I have material I've sent already to. So SA cool. collaborations yeah. I'm already doing. So, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. So when it comes out, you're gonna come back here and just let Definitely. us have a little taste Definitely. of it. Definitely. Yeah? Fantastic. Yeah, first. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. So we're gonna get the exclusive. Well, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yay! That's very exciting. Yeah. All right, Shady. Thank you very yeah. much. Welcome. Right. This has been very, very enlightening. Yeah. Wait, but wait before you go. Yes. Yeah. I asked about artists in Nigeria. I asked about artists internationally. Yeah, mm. so let's take <laughs> it down. So, what artists would you like to work with? What producers would you like to work with? I want three in, all over the world, including Nigeria. Okay, um, in Nigeria, definitely a Kobams. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, I wouldn't say Jesse because I work with him. Okay. Or, okay. But definitely a cool uh -huh. In Africa, mm -hmm. definitely a Uhuru. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then international or out of Africa. Right now? Mm hmm. I'm sorry, guys. Definitely Kanye West. <laughs> Fantastic. Face, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, JD, thank you very much for You're being welcome. here on Pulse TV Live. It was awesome. an absolute honor. I, I had a lot of fun <laughs> as well. Basically, very artistic. I like that. And you can see you creating. You're like a magician, basically. <laughs> All right, I'm Missy Bolu. This is Shady, Shady Business to you. And of course, this is Pulse TV Live. And we'll be back in just a few. Take care.